Hello, I'm here with Dr. Elmer Kutch, who is a lecturer in project and program management at the Cranfield School of Management. And Elmer and colleagues have been looking at the issue of does risk matter, and particularly does it matter in IS projects, and what happens when perhaps people pay less attention to it than they should. So, Elmer, does risk matter? Well, it should matter. Uh, in many IS projects that we have looked at, uh, risk is endemic. It's, it's, it's present and it might derail the uh, success of your project. So in order to make or turn the project into a success, uh, risk should be managed proactively. And a lot of frameworks and tools are available to those project managers in order to manage risks actively and in advance of the risk materializing. So yes, risks should actually matter. But what we have found is that uh, actually project managers disengage from this rational and sensible process of managing risks. So in looking at risk, you've found that managers obviously aren't averse to risk management, but they turn away from the process of risk management. Could you tell us a little bit, bit about why that is, what you found out in the course of your research? In principle, uh, the risk management process that is being advocated by major professional organizations is a rational, beneficial and sensible approach that project managers actually should go through from the start to the end. At the, at the beginning of this process, you identify risks, you assess risks, that means it includes the assessment of the probability and the impact of the risk, and then you attach a response to that specific risk. Unfortunately, what we have found is that at any stage of this sensible, rational process, it breaks down. People disengage from some of these process stages, so ultimately no action is being done. Okay. So you mentioned in the paper five beliefs that it caused people to turn away from it. Could you say a little bit about what those beliefs are, what type of beliefs we're talking about? Uh, ultimately, what we have found is that although most of the risks were known to the project managers, they were not responded to. This seems to be a bit paradox, uh, because uh, if we know about risk, we should actually respond to those risks. But one reason, one of these major reasons that we have investigated is that managers see risks as a fictional entity. Something that hasn't happened yet and might not happen. So as a result, Although people have identified and assessed this piece of risk, they wait until this fictional piece turns into fact. So they wait and wait until the risk turns into an issue. Well, this is insofar a problem because you have spent so much effort in order to identify and assess this risk, but you don't act upon it. And this is in a nutshell, is a bit of a waste. Yeah. So you've got very busy project managers who have enough time looking at what's happening around them rather than having to think about theoretical possibilities. Yes. So what impact do you think disengagement from the risk management process has on the, the quality of the projects that people are managing? I would like to argue it has an impact, it has an adverse impact, because if I don't follow through this process of risk management and I don't act upon risk, I make myself vulnerable to it and I make my project vulnerable to that risk. Yet what we have found is although managers actually disengage from this process, they actually are quite good in managing with the resulting issues. For example, they wait for these risks to happen, as I mentioned before, but then are really, really good at managing these issues quickly and appropriately. Mm. So what does your research tell you about how this could be addressed? And mindfulness was one of the very interesting ideas that you came up with as an alternative uh, paradigm for, for risk management, perhaps. In order to deal with disengagement from a sensible and rational process, we first need to understand the reasons, all the reasons why project managers do not really like to engage with this process. And once we know the reasons, we can actually then address those reasons. And we can actually help the project managers to follow through this process by incentivizing the project manager more to engage with this process. But also, 
if a project manager does not really believe in this process or does not want to respond to even known risks, we can still change or transfer our attention from anticipating towards making sure that those issues, those emerging issues, actually be dealt with appropriately. Yeah. So that they become ever present in the project manager's mind, you know, hence, the, hence the mindfulness. And this means instead of trying to predict the future, which is very difficult anyway, we try to focus on those things that we can see and sense, those issues that are unfolding before these issues turn into crisis or into an irrecoverable disaster. And unfortunately, in many uh, organizations that we have researched, the focus of attention or the focus of training is actually on anticipation rather than trying to make sure that when something happens, we can recover from it quickly. Yes, hence the resilience yeah. being very important. So Elmer, where does this research take us now? What, where would you expect it to be going next? In this piece of research, uh, we focused on reasons why project managers do not manage risk appropriately, why they do not respond to risks they actually know. Now we want to look beyond risk management and look at resilience on how managers actually prepare themselves for issues they couldn't anticipate and how they recover appropriately and as quickly as possible to these issues before they turn into crisis or into an irrecoverable disaster. And this is what we often refer to as being resilient. It's not only based on trying to anticipate risks and responding to risk in advance of these risks materializing, but focusing on issues and making sure that the project is not derailed by those issues rather than by risks. So it becomes a way of working rather than simply following a process. Indeed. Yes. Okay. And this also includes that we sometimes have to disengage from these processes in order to focus on these capabilities that are really useful or that turn a project into success. And these capabilities do not necessarily have to refer to risk management, but may also refer to appropriate and capable issue management. That's great. Thank you very much, Elmer. Thank you.